What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Jando as always, and today we got a little interesting one. We're taking a side note from the 3D printer, and we are going into a problem that I have. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna explain it. I, I talked last night, I'll explain real quick, I'll be right back. Hey guys, Han Chando here. Uh, it's the middle of the night, but I, I'm gonna shoot another video now just because I, I, this is driving me absolutely insane. So, the problem that I have that I'm sure a bunch of other people have is that this goddamn piston on this chair stopped working and it's hammered in way too far to the base of this chair where I can't do anything out of it. You can always buy a new one of these and then replace them. But I literally don't have that, that kind of luxury with this chair. I kind of need a new chair, longer story. Um, but I have an idea and I'm gonna try to 3D print something to just lock this in place. We pulled out the, uh, the big hardware just now. Uh, we're going M5 on this one. So I'm gonna design this all for M5 hardware and it's gonna print overnight. Um, the idea is literally just make like a, like a, a case that's gonna sit under it on the bottom of the chair and then it's gonna match with the bottom of uh, the top of the chair. And then I just shouldn't have to think about it. I'm gonna measure this all up and then I'll do some CAD and then we'll probably be back after it's done printing. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably warm these up now and get them going. But the, yeah, yeah, the problem that I might not be the only one with, uh, you never know. And this is a pretty generic chair. This chair is actually from uh, my, my friend, the guy who is a professional uh, esports player. This is one of the chairs he won in a competition. He's like, I don't want it. And so I was like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's fix the, let's fix the chair with the, the perfect imprint. <laughs> Okay, so we're back and 3D print is done. Oh my God. And, and we're gonna test this now. I think all the dimensions are good, but I'm gonna fit it up and then we're gonna have to find some way. I'm gonna have to slice this thing because the whole design is 20 millimeters taller than I need or I can print on my printers. So we have to slice it all up, chop it up, and then it'll probably be the next video when I have this thing and I won't have to complain about my chair falling down anymore. Oh my God. Also, before I forget, I did this off camera, but I'll do it again to show you guys. Uh, the pieces do fit around the edge of the uh, the actual piece. And you can see right there, it, it goes and nothing touches, interacts, and the bottom piece fits uh, just snugly. I might have to make the bottom that covers this part of the piston just a tiny little bit bigger, like literally like a millimeter maybe. But Everything fits together and the pieces, I don't know if I can show this with one hand on the camera, but everything fits together and slots together nice. This is all gonna go together and before I forget even more with this, uh, this is designed if it, if it wants to come off, if it wanted to come off. Uh, this is designed to take uh, M5 inserts. So this is a kind of a trick from the Vorons and all the other printers that I've been using. These little tiny inserts can be uh, pushed into the plastic. I'm not gonna bother taking it off. One side of these holes is slightly bigger and it's on this side right here where these inserts are heat, are heat set into the actual part itself just like just like that and then the screws stick together and then everything everything just works and slots all together and this should be mechanically strong enough to hold my weight I think <laughs> but I guess we'll find out <laughs> but uh, that's it for today short video today I know sorry we're getting back to the chest thing I also 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 I fixed the um, I fixed the algorithm in the board literally just completely works now I played it last night I don't know if you guys saw this uh, the other day one of the printer one of the pieces did melt we have melted pond now uh, this might be a custom piece I don't know but uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty much it for today. I think that's the video for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, we're still making videos every day right now. Short future, we might have to move to a different format soon. But that's about it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.